hi my beautiful people welcome back again i'm back again with another season of monday monday i'm sorry guys my lightning is not so good because i'm not at my usual spot but we have to bring the show to you guys so i want to say welcome to all of my subscribers welcome to all of my viewers welcome to every one of you guys that then follow me Monday Monday. You know, guys, Monday Monday is where we study the scriptures, where we go into the Bible to learn and study the scriptures together. So, like I said, we are back again today with another season of Monday Monday. Welcome to all of you that have been following Monday Monday. Monday Mended is where we learn, we study the scriptures together, and we come on Monday Mended, we bring it to you guys. We bring a particular topic on a season where we share these topics on different episodes. And these episodes is the same topic, but it comes with different scriptures reading and different inspirational words. That helps us to understand this topic in a different dimension. These are everyday topics that we bring on Monday, Monday, so that it can help us go on our daily activities through the week. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you're going to be notified whenever I upload a new video. My name is Boyno and this is my channel. You are very much welcome. I want to say thanks to all of my new subscribers. Thanks to all of Monday Mendes viewers and to all of my viewers. Please, you are free to leave me your comment in the comment section and hit that bell icon. That way you're going to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So, our to this topic, so, we are on season seven of Monday Mended and this season have four episodes and today episodes the topic for this season is how to respond to bullying hmm. so let's see how we can respond to bullying yeah and so our scripture for today's episode is taken from Ephesians Ephesians 2 10 for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good work so when I talk about bullying let me talk about myself and my story when it comes to bullying before we can talk about how to respond to bullying back in the days when I was a little girl growing in Africa I have my sister who I'm next to and my sister she was always being bullied and during that time I never knew what they call bullying but I knew that her, her friends her friends used to pick on her her friends in the classroom even without their playing games on the sports feed they were like call my sister names and sometimes be holding her clothes doing all sort of things and I don't like it and my sister will not say anything. She like she will be smiling at them, and then they hurting her. Sometimes they will they will they will create song out of her name or out of something. Even if it's little thing that she did, they will make that thing out of song and and, and clap song behind my sister. But my sister usually never respond to them. But I was the one. So when they're in their classroom, they do that because we were in the same class. When they do that to her, she she let it go. But when we outside and we are together and her friends are there like on the sport page or we recess periods or so we're there with some of our friends and then they want to pull in my sister, I can be like, mm -mm, this not going to happen in my presence. Before I never knew about bullying, oh, I know they picking at her, they making fuss at her, they playing fun out of her. Yes, and 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 that it, it used to affect her. Yeah, and it make her to not even have friends, like having friends in the school because they used to 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 bully her so bad. 
So I will, I will be there to be fighting with my sister. When they call her this name, I will give it back to them. When they call her clothes this way, I will go and hold their clothes. And then she will be there. Leave them alone. They're just joking. Leave them alone. I can be like, no, they're not joking with you. They are serious. They're insulting you. They are not joking with you. She will say, oh, they're joking with me. They're just playing with me. I said, they're not playing with you. They do this to you all the time. And it's not nice like that. And so anytime I'm around, they don't do that to my sister because they know I will attack them. The same way they attack my sister i will attack them like that so they don't do that to her when i'm around because if she letting them go i will always fight back at them yeah so i never knew that was bullying they always always do that bullying thing to my sister and bullying playing fun making fun out of you especially when and my sister is just like me but because she's not like them she don't do or act the way they act or behave the way they behave. They 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 bully her like like she's she's kind of different from it. She can't have her own way. She she respond and the way she do things. They bully her. Me, I I was that kind of different person. Like a part of them. Yeah, we all we we, we like we have the same attitude and things like that. But my sister was not like that. So they will bully her, they will call her names, and the little things she do, they will pick at her. So I say, okay, say you and me, the same, got the same attitude. You do it to my sister, I will do it to you. Yeah. Bullying sometimes, it doesn't mean that you, your, your body structure is not correct, or you does not look good. Also, sometimes when you, when you don't fit in your category, they bully you. They call you names, they insult you, they say things to, to you that demeaning you, make you to look small, make you to, 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 to look down on yourself. It hurts, yeah. And then you will ask yourself question, who am I? Why are these people doing all these things to me? Yeah. Like, am I different? Or what do I have on me that is not on them? Or what is on them that is not on me? That they bully me, they mock me, they this and that. But, so me people that people bully they, they are different kind of people they are different uh, people they are they have their own way of doing things and, uh, and these people are very smart people especially when you're in a classroom and then they are the one that answering most of the most of the question and teacher responding to them teacher liking them other other class member tend to bully you because of your smartness because of your way your, you you interact in class and because of the way you do things and that's how my sister is so they bully her because of all of that but i was the one that was fighting for her and so god that created us he did not create any junk because when god was making us he said let us make men in our image so we are the image of god so matter how how we look or our attributes and characters some of the ways that we behave are the ways that god put in us we all are not the same and we all does not have the same character so i'm different from you you different from me so because i'm different from you you have your peer group that is the same and I'm different. That does not mean that you should bully me. Or because my, my, my eyes or my face or my legs or my hands might look different from yours. That does not mean that you should bully me. I am a creation of God's work. I am God's child. God created me also. And Paul tells us in Ephesians in our scripture today that we are all God's creation. We are the workmanship of of God. We are made by his hands. We are his at work. We are not made by accident. So every way that God made us, that's how he want us to be. We are not made by accident. If God made you, if you are a man, you are a man. It was not an accident. If you are a woman, you are a woman. There was not an accident. God does not make mistake. If we truly believe that we are the hidden man of God, we are his workmanship, his craft, then there shouldn't be any bullying among us because you will not see somebody that look different from you and then you bully them they are god's creation god made them tell you guys it never feels good to be bullied when you are being bullied you're not happy 
you you it, it make you to lose your self esteem. Sometimes you want to punch the person. Like I said, I used to fight for my sister, but violence is not the option. That's why we are talking how 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 do we uh, respond to bullying? It's not the option. Like the way I used to respond to bullying when they bully my sister, that is not the right way to respond to bullying. As a Christian, we are not to respond to bullying. We are not to bully others because we should accept others the way they are. Their character, their way they look, we should accept them if we say that we are Christian as a true Christian, we should accept others the way we are. And and we shouldn't go about bullying them. And when we are when 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 we are being bullied, we shouldn't fight back. Yes. We shouldn't fight back. We shouldn't take actions into our hands. Because sometimes these, these are our friends that do the bullying. Some of them, they don't, they don't even know that it is God's creation. Some of them, they take it to be fun. But some of them, they, they, they do things that they have no knowledge of. So you cannot hold them responsible. As Matthew 5, 39 says, But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you, on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. Saul tried to kill David, but David spare him and don't forget Jesus prayed for the people that were crucifying him. So you see, even people that bully or we should pray for them because they don't know what they are doing. So do not repay evil for evil. Like I used to do before when they bully my sister, I fight back at them. That is not the right way to, to go. Yeah, you let them be. You don't fight them. They're going to get tired because sometimes you fight them, you fight them back. Sometimes some people, like some movie I watch, when they bully, bully the child, bully the child, and the child go home, tell their parents or some guardians, and the person say, when they come back again, you just do like this. And for sure, when they come back and that child punch them, they never come back to fight that child again. But that is not the right way to go forward with it. Yeah. As a Christian, we should look to God for guidance in any situation that we in. It's only God that can guide us and it's only God that can help us to be able to overcome these things and to help us to be able to know how to address it and how to handle it. God loves or every obstacles that God puts in our way, it helps to make us strong, it helps to prepare us. So as we being bullied, we should just pray to God to guide us that we may not be that one has a children of God to fight back those that bully or but pray to God to change the situation. We should be strong and God will help us in whatever way, whether cyber bullying or physical bullying, however it is, God will be there to help us too. Father, help us see ourselves as your workmanship, crafted on purpose with love by you. I am not less than I am not worthless. I am a work of art that you chose to create and that make me special in Jesus' name. So I'm going to stop here today, my beautiful people. So the, our scripture today is from Ephesians 2.10 and we we'll also put in Matthew 5.39. So we can go into this. We can go through it and let God help us who have been bullied and for those of you that see bullying has fun or bullying has an amusement yeah as fun as something to entertain you amusement and you do that to your fellow man it is not right it is not good because the bible tells us that we are god's workmanship we are the children of God. God created us and he did not make mistakes. And you don't know what others go through when you are bullying them. Sometimes your bully can push others to want to take their life because you lower their self-esteem. You make them to feel worthless, that they are nothing, that they are a mistake, that, that they shouldn't be even existing, which is not right. But as Christians, we should go more and more into the scriptures that read the scriptures Ephesians uh, 2 verse 10 
and Matthew 5 39 let's go into these scriptures and there are more and more other scriptures for us to study and understand that we are God's craftsmanship and bullying is not the answer and it's not the way to address anybody if you feel that the person does not look like you or it does not act like you we are all God's children and special in a special way and we all have a particular purpose on this earth so i'm gonna stop here today i hope i make sense thank you my beautiful people you can leave me your comment in the comment section thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing i'll see you there i'll see you on my next video have a good day i love you guys stay safe bye bye